Hi everyone, welcome to Kushanta's tech blog. Once I release a set of Kali related videos, people were asking various questions related to Kali. So Kali is a penetration testing platform where you can use to test your environment as well as you can test it you know, various uh, scopes including web sites, web applications and also infrastructure and not only that but also you can test your perimeter or VPN networks using Kali. So Kali has a bunch of uh, tools that you can use to various purposes. So first thing that you want to do is downloading Kali to your system. So Kali is actually a Linux distribution which is free. You can go into kali.org slash downloads and you can download relevant uh, installation install installation file so if you go in there which i include in my description you can download kali uh, linux installer where you can install kali on your system or you can use kali live cd even uh, once you download kali.iso iso file you can uh, you know convert or trans uh, transfer this installation or the live cd to dvd or usb drive so you can uh, install this or you can transfer this to usb stick where you can uh, uh, boot your uh, computer using kali so these are a few options that you have it has in 64 bit and also 32 bit and uh, i would uh, recommend you to download one of those not iso file if you are a basic user or if you are starting uh, learning about kali uh, the reason is when you use ISO installation, you need to install Kali by yourself. So there are certain uh, packages that you would miss out if you start installing this by yourself. But there are few uh, options available. For example, VMware and VirtualBox. If you download those, if I go into VirtualBox, VirtualBox is you can download from Oracle, which is free. You can download and install. So then you can run Kali virtually uh, on your Windows system or Linux system. So there you can directly download a uh, Kali Linux VMware 64-bit or 32-bit version where you can run parallelly in your system, something like this. So once you install, you can access your Kali, uh, something like this. So in this case, I'm using my virtual machine. So you would see here VMware workstation. So, and if you want to, you can run multiple versions of Kali parallelly right so this is that so i have this version which is a little bit old but i have upgraded this uh, and i have a bunch of tools that i frequently use so i use this frequently and you can download the latest one like this and you can start using kali uh, as a virtual machine so without affecting to your windows uh, installation and one more thing and there is another question where people were asking is there any other option so these are the options that we have. One is running on uh, Kali as a virtual machine. Either you can use VMware or VirtualBox, even Hyper-V. So you can install as a virtual machine. Or you can use this as a dual boot, which is not very recommend system. The reason is if you install Kali as a dual boot, so you have to always reboot your system in order to access Kali. In 2008, Kali cre initiated a really nice solution for that where you can install uh, Kali from your store or Windows store. Let's go into store. Right? So if you go into Microsoft store, now Kali is available for you to use as a Windows store application where I'm going to start uh, search for it. And then you would see uh, it will be loaded up there you can directly install Kali, say here we are, as an application where, right, uh, where you can directly use Kali or you can use Kali set of commands within Windows system. So you don't need any virtual machines anymore. So you can directly click on get and then you can log into or access and install Kali to your local uh, laptop or desktop. So there you don't have to do dual booting or you don't have to install virtual machine in order to uh, use Kali. So it's a really nice option where some cases, some penetration testing, you have set of guidelines to adhere. So then according to these guidelines, you can't use virtualized 
penetration testing set of tools. So in that way, this is really, really nice option where you can add Kali to your Windows 10 system and straight away you can access Kali set of commands. All right, now Kali installation is completed. Now we can launch Kali. Let's see how it works. What it says now, installing this may take few minutes and it fail with an error because the Windows subsystem for Linux optional component is not enabled. So WSL is not enabled. So let's see how we can enable that. Let's go to PowerShell, uh, open up PowerShell, and then we need to run Windows feature command. This is the one, enable Windows optional feature online, feature name, Microsoft Windows uh, subsystem, Linux. So let's run this command. It will enable uh, Windows uh, subsystem. Now it says it required uh, uh, requested operation requires elevation. So let's uh, uh, run a Linux uh, PowerShell with administrative rights. Run as an administrator. Uh, let's wait until it. Yeah, here we are. All right. Now. I'm under Windows System 32, which means I have elevated rights. So I'm running this. So it will take a few minutes to enable Windows optional feature, uh, Microsoft Windows subsy sub subsystem Linux. All right, now we rebooted the machine. Now let's see how to access Kali app. I'm gonna click on Windows key and then let's type Kali. Here we are, we have Kali Linux app now. So we are on Windows 10 and then we are accessing Kali Linux. Now it's still installing. It can take a few minutes. So once installation is completed, I will connect, connect you. All right, guys, now installation is completed. Now it asks me a Unix username. Let's say Kali. And then it's gonna ask me the password. Let's type my password and confirming password. Now password is updated successfully. Now installation is successful. Now we are on a Kali machine. Now if I go into, let's say apt get update. So it will start updating all uh, files that we need within Kali. So let's say su su uh, apt get. Right, let's type sudo right so password for Kali I'm gonna give the password now it started installing or updating Kali packages in my new installation all right guys our installation is completed now we have pretty much Kali on Windows 10 so let's go and do if config these are my information you know ip configuration all right now we have done the installation but we have one more problem which is we don't have gui graphical user interface so how to install it so for that what we can do is we can install uh uh sudo apt get we're gonna do uh xfce4 uh, install Done. I'm going to install this one. Let it install. All right. While you are away, uh, they completed the installation. Now I'm going to select the keyboard and then pre-configuring packages. So you would see here. Now we are in a final bit. All right, guys. Now we install um, GUI graphical user interface to our Kali system. Now what we want to do is. Uh, create a method to access this. So best way to access this is uh, RDP. So let's install XRDP um, in the same way. XRDP. So this will install uh, XRDP or the system. So which means it's a remote desktop client 
where we can access our GUI interface through our remote desktop protocol ORDP. So let's download it and access this. Okay, I hope you are clear now. So what we did was uh, we created a GUI environment and then next one is we created or installed XRDP. Now what we want to do is we want to start XRDP service. So easiest way to do that is uh, run this command XRDP start. So this will start our XRDP service. All right, now remote desktop server started. Now we are all good to go and good to access this. And remember, this was made available by Windows in 2018 with as of Windows 10 update along with Kali organization, right? So let's open up our remote desktop. Yeah, here we are. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run 127.00.0.3390 is our port. So let's try to connect it. Uh, sorry, 127.00.0. Sorry, 127.0.0.1. My bad. So now we are gonna connect 3390. Uh, port to our locally installed Kali instance or GUI. Let's see. So we have an issue now. It's not connecting. Possible issues would be uh, let's check what is the port that we configured to XRDP. Let's do sudo nano uh, etc XRDP xrdp.ini so here we are so the port we assign is 3389 let's uh, change it to 3390 now we can save this Control o. so we change the port number now we need to restart xrdp again let's see xrdp uh, So we are restarting XRDP. Now we want to connect it again. Local host uh, 3390. Yeah, we are now connecting to our newly installed uh, Kali connection. So our Kali should be ready to go. All right, this is our Kali machine. Now, if you go on into here, so you would see all Kali related uh, accessories, multimedia. If you go into system, so you have all this stuff here and terminal there. So you have a uh, web browser here and uh, application finder there. All right, this is Kali on Windows 10. I hope you understood how to install uh, uh, Kali on Windows 10 machine and all uh, the Commands that I use during this installation are listed in my uh, description. So thanks for viewing and hope to see you with the next video.